well, she is the title character. She is an Ethiopian princess, but we don't know that. Or shall I say, the audience doesn't necessarily know that because she has been captured and she's a slave living in the court of the Egyptians. I find it fascinating to play with the princess versus slave persona that is Aida when she has to protect herself and hide herself and when she can't refuse herself anymore and the princess comes out as it does in a few times earlier in the opera and then ultimately when her father comes there's no denying that of course she is a princess and, and his backbone just injects into her spine and she finds again that of course she's a princess and she's not a slave. Uh, three years ago I sang Tosca here. Puccini and Verdi, of course, Italian, great Italian masters of uh, opera composition. Puccini writes much lower. The tessitura is much lower and uh, it's called verismo, which is often translated as realistic. Um, some people would say that nothing in opera is realistic, but the style is earthy. That's the word I would use. The, the tessitura, the whole range is low and the style is earthy. For Verdi, the style is more Olympic. The demands on the voice are much more uh, and the style is more ethereal. So there's a lot of floats. A Verdi sopranos are demanded to sing these lovely, lovely ethereal floats. It's what's required, it's what makes them special, and what's what makes, it's what moves me. It's what draws me to the music. Um, Brian I've worked with once before and he's just really super with uh, getting all of those bodies on the stage and trying to motivate them because sometimes, I believe in this production, it's the first time some of these folks have been on the stage and he's really terrific with that and Joe it's my first time working with him and um, I find him so musical I am looking forward to this like you wouldn't believe it's a live performance it's real it's not virtual it you cannot get a sense of the real electricity in the room if you're sitting on your couch or just listening to a recording this is the ultimate operatic experience you have everything here. You have, you have the ballet, of course. You have the spectacle. You have not one but two princesses. Um, you have the whole complement of voice types: soprano, mezzo soprano, tenor, baritone, two basses. Uh, besides an elephant, which I have not actually been involved with an Aida with elephant because they present particular problems backstage. But you know, besides that, I, you have everything, and of course, the music. And I would say, why do they need to come? They need to be the character that we don't meet until that night. The audience is absolutely part of the show. They become the character that we don't know what they're going to contribute to the show until the curtain rises and we're like, hmm, yeah, I can feel their energy. I can feed off that energy. What are they gonna give me so that I can give even more back? That's why live performance and an oper operatic performance is uh, special and, and really worth experiencing.